Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and this tutorial video is about using the LastPass password manager on mobile devices, both Android and Apple. First, I'm going to show you on an Android phone and then on an Apple. I'm assuming that you already have a LastPass account and, ha and know your master password. If not, that's a previous video. So on a phone, what you need is the app. On an Android, you would get the app from the Play Store. And make sure you're on Apps and search for LastPass. And there it is. I already have it installed. It is it is free. You would just install it. So let me go back to my home screen and find it. So there is the LastPass app. I'm going to make sure that I'm logged in too. So I open up LastPass and I enter my master password and confirm. So I am LastPass is on the phone and it is signed in. So now here's how it works when you want to go use an app. I'm going to use one of my travel apps, this one called Togo. And I do have an ID. I will tap sign in with your ID. And when I tap on the email address, LastPass pops up and if I and shows me my Togo ID. All I have to do is tap there. It has filled it in for me and I can sign in. Pretty easy, right? On the iPhone it's pretty much the same. You would get the LastPass app from your App Store. Tap Search. Look for LastPass. And I already have it installed. So I'm going to go back and there it is right there. And it has the option of using Touch ID to unlock. So I don't even have to enter my password password if I have turned on the Touch ID when I install it. So all I have to do is put my fingerprint on there. I am now in LastPass. It is logged in. So let's see how it works when I want to open an app. I'm going to use that same app I did on my Android, the one called Togo. And I tap on it sign in and it doesn't get auto filled but if I tap on it instead of typing I am offered log in to runs with Togo using LastPass sure touch ID and I'm done so LastPass still made it very simple now not all of them will work that simply let me show you Flickr And when the login form comes up, it's I'm not offered the last pass. I don't know why. So if that happens, you can always though just go to your last pass app, open it up, and find the Flickr account and tap on it. Now I can copy the username and copy the password and go back. So I'm copying the username, I go back to Flickr, and I paste. Next, I need the password. So I'll go back to LastPass, open up the Flickr, copy password, back to Flickr, and paste. And now I can sign in. So that's like worst case scenario when it when things don't happen automatically you can always go to your LastPass app find the username and password and copy them. Now if I had been paying closer attention at that point I would have noticed that when it came time for the password LastPass was showing up right above the keyboard here but if I just tap on it I'm getting the got guest account password but if I tap on the little key it pops up all the information from LastPass it shows that I have two accounts with Flickr and I can choose the password for the one I want use touch ID to confirm and and then I could have signed in and 
that is using GlassPass on mobile devices.